Hello friends, welcome back to Civil 3D Pro Tips and Tricks YouTube channel. This is the third video of our ongoing series roundabout design in Civil 3D. In last two video we have seen uh, how we are going to build the roundabout. Uh, in last video we have built uh, center line alignment and we have seen how we can design the profile for the center line uh, alignment as well as for the roundabout. So we did alignment profile for center line and uh, roundabout uh, circulatory carriageway in our last video. If you haven't watched, go to our YouTube channel and watch our uh, roundabout 3D videos. So let's get started with this one. Uh, now we have built center line alignment and uh, uh, circulatory alignment. Next uh, thing is to build alignment for the edges and for the target alignments so if i can hide this my layout of roundabout you could see i have already the polyline so there are various methods to convert this polyline into alignment one is to just directly go with the alignment option select create alignment from polyline and select this and click ok Just give some name. Uh, this will be from North Edge Alignment. Uh, it is going from East to North. Always give some name. It will be handy and just click OK. So it's done. Uh, one of alignment created. Now, another method uh, what you can do, I will explode this polyline and you can convert this. Uh, with the option create alignment from layout uh, and give the name this will be my age alignment and it will be from east to south then click ok now here you have uh, options uh, this one where you can convert the lines and arc into uh, alignment so i'm showing you the different method of creating alignments so just click this now start clicking this and you can see it is converting into alignment so the, for that you should have a alignment and arc so this is done so this is two method of creating alignment third one is creating alignment with the element method so i'm going again creating alignment by layout let's just give name this time it should be west to south so the age alignment west to south click ok and i'm starting with uh, option from here so let's first start with the line so I go with line. Okay, you can end anywhere. Then you can start uh, measuring this. Uh, so okay, so let me see what is the radius here. It is 40. So what I can do, I go here and go with the floating curve. Select this, your alignment. Now it is asking me the radius. So I click 40, the center will be 40, enter, less than 180, yes, and you need to click on this, done, okay, next you have a reverse curve, you can see it is continuous and uh, it is also radius 40, so what I am going to do again, I am going with the floating curve options select your alignment now it is asking me radius i will give it to 40 less than 180 now it is asking me whether it is compound curve or reverse curve i will select reverse curve and then select the last point or anywhere 
it doesn't matter where it end because it's a floating tower so it will automatically increase the length as per your requirement you can see it automatically increase this line length and the cow length and everything so this is a uh, advantage of using floating curve it automatically takes <coughs> takes the values so let's see what is i have next here again i have one more reverse curve so let's go again with the floating curve options like this select your curve and select this oh sorry it a little confusing where it is okay uh, let me isolate it so it will be easy to select so that's the problem you get when you have plenty of things now start from here now it is easy for me to select and let's give it the radius 40 plus an 80 this is also reverse curve so reverse curve and select your point anywhere now here is the radius is different uh, let's see what is the radius it is 30 so what can i do i can select my alignment and go from here tabular editor and can change radius from here as well so done and then you start with the floating line so uh, yep that's one and click here and it's done so you can also create alignment using this element method so you could see by using the floating you don't need to uh, end your things at the end point it will automatically take it so this is continuous alignment and let's uh, end up with isolation uh, isolate my layout and you can see I have all three alignment with the different method there are two ways you can uh, make your alignment up to this point only and you can make another alignment for this point it's up to you how you can make your alignment and because sometimes it's not that symmetrical you have uh, some different kind of layout so yeah it's up to the layout and it's up to you how you design this alignments now let's I go for the last alignment again with the polyline method again I'm selecting this click enter enter and just give the name wish to north so these are my age alignment um, from wish to north and done okay so you have all the four age alignment next thing you need a target alignment or island alignment so these are your island alignment you can similar way convert those into alignments so we are going to do that and next thing we are going to start with the building uh, corridor for our uh, approach and for our roundabout so let's start let's see what uh, assembly have here so we have assembly for this roundabout here what I have done I have uh, given the slope uh, minus 2.5 uh, in the right direction so my alignment is going uh, you can see my alignment changes it is going on this direction 150 250 so uh, by using this assembly it will be target on this side so you can see that I'm draining everything, I'm sloping everything towards the island. So this is a, a good practice that when you're designing your alignment for a roundabout, it always uh, drain inside unless there is uh, some, uh, if you're building existing uh, 
round about or there are some other constraints uh, otherwise you always follow this always uh, slope your uh, round about inside uh, the island towards the island so this is uh, why because it is given minus 2.5 next i have simple two lane uh, uh, section so here you can see i'm not using any curve right now so this is a good practice uh, when you are from uh, first fixing out uh, labels and everything do not use any curve or anything just go with the simple uh, assemblies first build assemblies uh, utilize that in creating your connections and tie-ins and later on once everything is done the alignment profile and the connection then you go for uh, the cup design and everything so here i have a, a, a two lane two way approach with the normal uh, assemblies and then i'm uh, going to apply this on the all four approaches so either what you can do you can design all the four approaches in one single corridor or you can have a different approach for uh, you can build a different corridor for the different approach uh, let's start now so i'm going to go with uh, option corridor here create corridor first i'm going to build uh, my roundabout icd so let's say this corridor has a roundabout now select your ICD alignment, side align, select the profile, select your assembly, this is my roundabout assembly and click OK. And rebuild your corridor. So this is done. What you can do about the roundabout, you can change the frequency. So I'm going to change my frequency because it's a circular. I'm going to apply more frequency here. Instead of 10, I'm going with the 1. And click OK. OK. Next thing what you need to do is to create the surface for this. So that surface will help you in the time. So this is roundabout. I'm going with uh, contours and just add the code top so i'm creating top surface for my roundabout uh, circulatory carriageway and i'm giving it to boundary and let's still say click ok so you can see i have going to let's turn on the layout so i'm going to end objects isolate and i can see my layout is up to this point So you need to increase your uh, uh, either assembly width or what you can do, you can create target. So what I'm doing, I'm bringing those lines using end copy command. And double click OK. That line is here. Now, uh, the targeting circular is uh, very difficult. So what you can do, you can create one more alignment. And this is round about island. And click OK. Again, go with the option here. And go with more fixed curve option here, center point and radius. Click your center point and take your direction clockwise and asking what is the radius the first point and this point done now you can target this alignment so I'm selecting my corridor I'm going with the option edit target Here you can go uh, here 
and here you can have option of selecting either alignment or feature line I'm going with alignment and I'm selecting my alignment round among island click OK OK and this done so you can see my uh, round body is extended up to this so this way you can give the target this is uh, one of the method I shown you to for the target I could build my assembly up to this width but I need to show you the how it does the target box so I build this surface so this is a method another that you need to build the surface for your round board you need to build the uh, surfaces for the approach and then you for designing the profile for the alignment of your edges alignment so in next video we're going to build uh, our alignment for this uh, islands and we're going to build all the surface for the four approaches i already show you how you can build the surface around board i'll show you one more example uh, of this so i'm going to again with my roundabout i'm going with the property corridor now here what you can do in parameter you can add another baseline so you can go over here and you can select your center line alignment click ok select its profile click ok now right click and select your uh, assembly so this is my approach mainline assembly ok and you can select your chain edges so i want to build my assembly up to this point click ok uh, sorry my corridor up to that point and ok all right so here it's come that contour you can see over here so this way you can build approaches of all the four corner that we're going to see in our next uh, videos thank you thanks for watching